I'm Robert Scoville, and uh, at Rackspace we like to see uh, all the startups that are doing really interesting stuff. And here at Dogpatch Labs, we're going to find out what's special about this new space that has 25 startups all in one room. Who are you? I'm Ryan Spoon. Uh, I'm with Polaris Venture Partners, which is a venture capital firm based in Boston, uh, but with a big West Coast presence. And you're here today in Dogpatch Labs, which is our West Coast office, but a little unique in that our office is sitting with 65 entrepreneurs. It is a, we call it lightly an incubator, in that it's very hands-off. It's really a center for companies to rotate through six months at a time, all different stages, um, and collaborate with one another. Uh, and I guess that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah. It's really interesting because people have been predicting the death of the office for a long time. You know, now that we have yep. really good collaborative tools, you know, like Google Docs and uh, Skype and da da da. Why? Why do people need to work together in one room? I mean, what is sure. that? What is it about sure. that? A few themes that I hear repeatedly. Um, now that we have 150 people come through each location, we also have one in New York City. We have one in Boston. Uh, we've been doing this a little under two years. Um, there is a loneliness to doing it alone, right? Yeah. And, and in general, these are one to four person startups. Um, I've been there running something in, in your spare bedroom, uh, and it is lonely. Uh, the second part is there are just experiences that being around other entrepreneurs, going through the same things, technically, business-wise, personally, the benefit you get out of that is unlike anything else. And we aim with the people we bring in, whether it's entrepreneur, company, to have total diversity of uh, sector or stage. So you have companies here that are profitable, relatively large. You have companies here that it's just something kind of moving in, in a, uh, it's a concept yeah. uh, within a really smart person's head, but everything in between. And we really do try to kind of focus the collaboration so that you see people turn around. If you're engineering constrained, you turn around to a team that's business constrained and you do a little trade off and that happens all the time. Yeah. Well, this is a really interesting place in the world. I, there's not many other places that are like, we're, we're here at Pier 38, right? Yep. And underneath us is CoTweet and Automatic that does yep. WordPress and, and uh, True Ventures, which is another venture yep. capital firm. Social media. Yeah, um, you guys have uh, social media yeah. up here. Uh, uh, tell me what being in one place with all of that entrepreneurial activity means to you guys. So I think, to me, it means two main things. Um, one is just that diversity, uh, where you have people of different stages, different business models, all coming together to learn from one another. And tied to that is number two, which is there's just this remarkable people flow. Uh, the people we're looking to come in, and frankly, the people who are attracted to this, whether you're WordPress or someone in Dogpatch, is someone who wants to be in activity and hubbub. Yeah. And so those people are bringing all their BD meetings here, or they're bringing, uh, you know, we have an open desk for the day, they bring their friend in to, to work out of it. So the people flow is pretty unbelievable, uh, which exposes them to great new folks, companies to great new partners, us to great new people, so on and so forth. Yeah. I got introduced to you by doing a speech here, yep. right? So you have people who are in the industry, you bring them in, into this space and you have, yep. you know, I don't know, 50, 100 people standing around right. and listening to somebody. And right. that's an interesting way to get new ideas into, into right. the space, right? So one of the working premises of, of Dogpatch is um, it's not curriculum focused. Uh, we're not hands-on. We, yeah. we actually hope that the companies themselves collaborate more than uh, more than they would even want interaction uh, from us specifically. But at least once a week, we try to have some sort of event. And those can be totally informal, where it's, um, let's have a dinner around mobile. And we bring in the dog patch companies, we bring in 10 to 15 industry experts. Um, yours was relatively informal. What are the five things you're seeing? And what are the trends that, that you, who sees everything, are most excited about? And we had 50-ish people, and half dog patch, half outside. And then we've done really 
much more structured. So Facebook came in and we did a Facebook Connect Best Practices event. We had 150 people, 50 companies attended, 30 companies got up on stage and did a three minute demo of their Facebook Connect implementation. The companies were as excited to see that as was Facebook, as was I. Yeah. Uh, so we, we try to do something like that, formal to informal, to spark that collaboration or learning. Yeah. How did people get in here? How, uh, you, you can rent a space here, right? A, a desk, basically, yep. and a chair. And I, even I could do that, right? Yeah. Or so the way how do I, is there a process to so getting approved to do that? Or so there is a, a loose process. The first piece is um, people are here for about six month rotations. Um, it's not first come first serve. So if there's 65 entrepreneurs, there's 65 desks. And that's your desk, it's your home. Some people had their sleeping bags here. Uh, others are here more loosely. Um, for companies that are unfunded, it's a free space. Um, for companies that are more mature or funded and can afford it, it's cost to us. Uh, which is nominal. Everyone has 24-hour access, Wi-Fi, coffee, events, yeah. you know, the basics. Um, Refrigerator and a, and a nice little coffee bar back here. Yep, which is where most of the activity is. Um, so the process is pretty simple. Uh, we meet with everyone. Um, we're looking beyond just what you're working on and more are you the right cultural fit. Uh, it's somewhat self-selecting. If you come into a place like this and your eyes open, you say, this is the kind of center I want to be in. It solves itself. There's some folks who, you know, it's too stealthy or they want to be more private and that's not the best fit. Yeah. Um, and then we look for really outgoing social folks who are just doing very different things. It's a totally fluid situation. So people are here about six months, but way more often than not, what happens is a company strikes a chord, does really well, and they need to grow and we try to accommodate it, but it's not the best place for a 10-person startup. Yeah. So there's a company here, Recurly, um, which we recently actually were part of a, uh, their seed. Yeah. Um, because they're doing well and because they've taken on uh, funding, they're going to hire, and they've already expanded, and at some point in the near future, they're gonna have to get their own office for space. Yeah. Um, that means that... So once they get to three people, it's like, hey, guys. They're at five. <laughs> yeah, see, um, it's but, time to start thinking about right. it. You're, you're so, on place. Yeah. So the ideal fit for us is kind of one to four people is what it ends up being. Yeah. Um, there are companies like Animoto, for instance, based in New York. They have, they're three West Coast guys here. Um, that works out really nicely. But it, the natural fit is four people. Yeah. Anything above, um, we yeah. do accommodate or try to accommodate, but both sides end up saying, let's let's find an office. Do you have a graduation day when you kick somebody out of the nest? <laughs> we, we, bring, we bring a keg around and uh, and we do demos and chat. So so yeah. ju just yesterday, you know, today's September 1st. So yesterday a couple teams moved out and a handful of teams are moving in. Um, it's totally fluid, which means that the process is, you know, if you seem like a good fit, you need two or three desks, let's hang on for a couple weeks and I'm sure something will arrive. Yeah. Now we we visit TechStars and Y Combinator yep. and Plug and Play mm -hmm. and a few other uh, kinds of sure. spaces like this. Do you feel that those are competition or are they different? How are you different? I guess. I think everyone who's having success and all the names that you you said are absolutely having success are doing different things. Um, so I, I don't see them as competitive. In fact, I think we we're just talking about it in the current YC demo day, which had 36 companies. I mean, that's, that's, that's a big number. That's, that's, that, that's a landmark uh, for this kind of model. Um, three of the companies were dog patch graduates, um, and we're thrilled about that. And we've had companies graduate from Y Combinator and come here. Um, but they're different models. Uh, so, um, How so? For instance, we don't have a curriculum. Um, so I think for a, a a launch pad, a school to launch with and and, and launch a demo with, um, this is not the, the best situation. In part because there's fluidity to it. People have already launched, some are revenue producing, some are not even live. Yeah. Um, so that kind of culmination in a demo day is difficult. So is it a good place to work on an idea and then, oh, okay, we got it to a certain point, now let's go into Y Combinator or go into Techstars? We've or? seen that. We've also seen companies take funding right out the bat from here. I, th I think the stat is, and, and to be clear, there's no strings attached. So we're not taking equity. 
Okay. There's no right of first refusal. It's a, we think you're interesting. Hopefully you think the space is interesting. Uh, come hang out and let's get to know each other. I think the stat is in San Francisco alone, over 30 companies have been funded. Wow. Uh, either Wall and Dog Patch or Associated with Dog Patch. We yeah. have not done 30, which yeah, we're how, very proud of. How many of. have you done? Across, Polaris Ventures, how many? Across the three locations, we've done nine. Okay. in the last two years. So nine out of 30, that's, well, that's pretty the, And the 30 is just San Francisco. Okay. So there's a larger number beyond. Okay. And we're very proud of that. We bring in angel investors, we bring in, you know, we do demo nights, which are a little different. It's more a, what are you working on night? And we're very proud to make sure that there is a flow of people in and out, whether it's angel, super angel, venture, whatever it specifically looks like. You see a lot of people who are just starting companies. You know, yep. just had the idea. I want to quit my job and start a company. One person. Got, what? What should an entrepreneur think about when they're at that stage? What? 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 What five things should they be doing the first month that they're right. starting a company? So some answers are really are really what I would say soft, and some are are uh, are more tangible. Um, first, do you love what you're doing? Um, you can sometimes see someone who thinks it's a good idea, but isn't really passionate about it. And no matter how good the idea is or whether it's going to have traction, you're committing to doing this for two years, potentially a substantial part of your life, yeah. right? And you better love it. Two, are you are you really committed to doing it? Um, and there's ways, you know. So I founded a company while I was in school, and then I ran it at night while I was at eBay, and it ended up being quite successful. Um, that's one approach. Um, and I, I meet a lot of people doing that. And there's other approaches where they want to, you know, leave a, a full-time job uh, and, and do it full-time. So what's right for you? Where are you learning right now? For me, staying at eBay made all the sense in the world. Uh, unparalleled learning. Are, are you st if you're still learning, maybe that's not the right time. The biggest question we get is, who's your teammate? It's tough to do it alone. Uh, and based on your background and your expertise, who you team up with is quite important. Um, so finding someone who matches that passion, matches that um, ability to commit themselves to it, and hopefully doesn't match your background. Yeah. So if you're a product wizard, is this person either business or engineering, or, or what's that look like? And then the kind of more tangible one, how big is the idea? Uh, just because it's not a big idea doesn't mean it can't be a great business for the entrepreneurs, but it, it potentially means a different road down the business path, uh, the business's path, and it's very helpful to think about that in advance than coming to a crossroads. Do you work with uh, companies that are uh, providing infrastructure like Rackspace to get them to come in here and help the entrepreneurs get set up with infrastructure? So. That's a really good question because there's there's. Um, That's my pitch to you. <laughs> yeah, there's, so we'd like to help out the startups. So. That'd be fantastic. So so the there's two trends going on, right? Um, as you guys are well aware, because you're helping facilitate it. Launching is so much easier today than it ever was. If you did this, I, I don't know, three numbers, ago. five maybe five years ago, this space would look totally different. It would have a server room. It would have. You wouldn't be able to come day one and, and, and be efficient. You'd be worried about other stuff. So it's a really interesting time for that. And then the other piece is we would love folks like yourself to you know, share what you're seeing happening and hear from these guys what's happening. Yep. In the, in, again, that kind of informal dialogue piece and is in addition to the you know. Well, that's why we do this show. That's yeah. exactly why yeah. Rackspace pays for this. So. Yeah. That's great. Well, thanks. Um, where do we find uh, information on Dog Patch Labs sure. and how, how can people get in, in touch with you and see the space and see if they're a cultural fit? Dogpatchlabs.com. Yep. Um, we are, most of our activities actually on Facebook in terms of scheduling. Uh, again, we're in New York, we're in Boston, we're in San Francisco. We update all sorts of calendaring and events through the site and through Facebook, which is Facebook slash Dog Patch Labs. Yep. Um, and then I blog pretty regularly at ryanspoon.com, which is very much in and out with Dog Patch and Polaris and other musings. Very cool. Hey. Well, thanks. Cool. We're going to get around and see some of the startups. And, yeah, that'll uh, be We'll be back here a lot because there's so, any so many interesting companies. You're welcome so. anytime. Well, I've actually been here twice already, so thank you very much. Thanks. It's great space. Uh, the first time was your was your roast. Yeah, that was a good night. <laughs>